Ladies and gentlemen, mutual aid. Gather round and listen to the words of Peter Alexeyevich Kropotkin, Russian prince turned leading theoretical anarchist of his time as he replies to those followers of Darwin who would reduce all existence to a perpetual struggle among half-starved individuals thirsting for each other's blood. From the point of view of the moralist, the animal world is on about the same level as a gladiator's show. The weakest and stupidest go to the wall, while the toughest and shrewdest survive. Life is a continuous free fight of each against the other. Competition is always injurious to the species, and you have plenty of resources to avoid it. Therefore, combine, practice mutual aid. That is the surest means for giving to each and to all the best safety, the greatest guarantee of existence and progress, bodily, intellectual, and moral. <coughs> In ancient times, peasants would greet the king's representative, 
with flowers in one hand and arms in the other, and ask which law he intended to apply, the one he found or the one he brought with him. absorption of all social functions by the state, favored development of unbridled, narrow-minded individualism. The result is that the theory that man must find happiness in disregard of other people's wants now reigns triumphant all around in law science and religion. Populations are periodically reduced to misery or starvation. The understanding and the feelings of the millions are vitiated by teachings worked out in the interest of the few. All this is certainly a part of our existence. But the nucleus for mutual support institutions remains alive in the millions. It keeps them together, and they prefer to cling to their customs, beliefs, and traditions rather than accept the teachings of a war of each against all, which is offered to them under the title of science, but are no science at all. <laughs> 